What up? It's your boy T Bear on a reaction and Dave's Russell Wednesday. Mm. Yeah, just keep saying the way I wrestle Wednesday. This is another video make up a wrestle Wednesday. I'm so used to it. I'm about to check out this video from a wrestling flashback though. It was uh kind of brought up from my homie um B the man of uh, all wrongs all wrong reserves me. Yeah. This is twenty five minutes of wrestling wrestler a wrestler that is breaking character though. Like character breaking is always funny in wrestling as well too, whether you're a baby face or a, or a heel. Regardless, though, that time is can be hilarious as well too. Something even as a heel, you don't the characters a heel, you kind of don't want to laugh. You know, you're not supposed to be for the heels, but low key and that a lot is funny. Well, other than that, we're gonna check this out as well. For the dude, let's check out 25 minutes of wrestler hilariously breaking character. Let's get it. Is this on? Is this on? There's always room for fun in wrestling. Oh, like yeah. Jamaican. What happened to yep. <laughs> Cody. Even during serious moments, everything's yep. funnier when you're not supposed to laugh, as the saying mm -hmm. goes. King. Bucca. Bucca. <laughs> Bratista. <laughs> <laughs> Today we've got 25 minutes of Lord. wrestlers breaking character by laughing or smiling when they weren't meant to. Mm -hmm. The Rock is usually razor sharp in his promos. Yep. Shane, you roll, know it. Triple H, your mouth mm -hmm. shut, shut it. it. Vince, your mm -hmm. llama's mm -hmm. anus lick it. <laughs> Stay out, your dirty panties wear it. <laughs> the Great One had some trouble getting his words out in a segment with Mankind in early 1999, resulting in both men laughing out loud. The Rock must be puberty. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock and Mick Foley were one of wrestling's funniest mm -hmm. duos. It was rare to see The Rock break character, but Foley was probably the best at making the people's champion crack up. One such example was when Mick stole one of Rock's signature catchphrases yep. on Raw in 2000. Well, the Rock it doesn't matter. Yep, the man and yes, he smirked. <laughs> Red Tide is your Rock smirk. <laughs> The Rock once made himself laugh when saying another of his signature phrases. Finally, The Rock has come back to Milwaukee! <laughs> Foley is at it again in this next clip. Mm -hmm. Mick proceeds to make The Rock smile after The Great One's glasses fell off during an mm -hmm. off-the-air segment on SmackDown yeah. in 1999. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Rock wasn't going to pick up the glasses, and if they were going to get off the canvas, I was going to have to do it. The Rock thanks you for that. The Rock also had his fair share of moments where he broke others. What you're cooking smells like 100% grade A, money back guarantee, one big bucket, a Canadian moose piss. <laughs> you like donuts? Of course. Donut? Of course. Get the biggest jelly donut you yep. can find. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know it's about to go. Night, uh, I am the game. Uh, you got. Arms are way too yep. damn big. Look at this thing. Yup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finally no. come back to the Super Dome! Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get a Super Dome chance. Mm -hmm. While not only being hilarious on the mic, the Great One also had fans grinning ear to ear mm -hmm. whenever he performed the People's Elbow, which was initially created to try and make The Undertaker break character. Yep. I believe the first time Rock did the People's Elbow, was in a match where we were trying to make take a crack. Mm -hmm. I always thought that was the hokiest thing ever, but iconic, right? And always to get me to laugh. Drop the people's elbow on this piece of <laughs> On the K elbow. <laughs> the Rock also sold the Stone yeah, Cold Stunner in exaggerated fashion. <laughs> in an attempt to make Stone Cold laugh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still a bad guy. You say everything, okay? Mm -hmm. Aww. Leading up to Roman Reigns' match with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 38, Lesnar went after Reigns and the rest mm -hmm. of the bloodline whilst driving a forklift on an episode of SmackDown. Yep. After the show came back from commercial, Jey Uso could be seen laughing while selling the effects of the crash. But this wasn't the only time Jay was caught breaking character in the WWE. You were absolutely mm. nothing till your wife put you on Total Divas. Oh. Y'all look just like your mug shots. Of course. <laughs> That's why he means his jig. There are parts of him jiggling that nobody should ever see Lord. right now. This is borderline inappropriate. Jay also made Cody Rhodes crack mm -hmm. up with laughter during yep. their press conference post Fastlane 2023, Yeet. where the pair were quite obviously buzzing. Mm -hmm. Yeet. 
<laughs> that, that whole segment me? was hilarious. You feel me? Do you feel him, sir? Shay would break. So that's that's the whole. Do you feel thing started? Cause um, you know, he did that on Raw, though, man. I suck. Oh man, it sucks they're not champions no more, man. I think they had a good chemistry, but we'll see how they go from there, though. Maybe lead to him and Zami might go go for titles as well too. While Cody focuses on Roman, who knows? But still, quite frequently course, during his time in the bloodline, especially when Sami Zayn was on course. screen, Jay was meant to hate Sami at the time, mm -hmm. but Uso just couldn't keep it together. Actually, about to go to dinner. Yeah, Waffle House. Hey boys, you, you right? They they love Waffle House. Earlier, yeah. Big, I'll tell you all about it later. Okay? Yeet. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Hasn't been very oozy. Sammy was so funny during his time with the Bloodline. He was even able to make the usually stone-faced Solo Sokoa break character mm -hmm. multiple times. I go, my dog. My dog. I'm right here. <laughs> Zayn also had the tribal chief Roman Reigns yeah. cracking up as seen on Smackdown ahead of Reigns match with Logan Paul at Crown Jewel 2022. The biggest two of them all, my dog. And that is how you are going to end up as a number two stain. More often than not, the tribal chief just couldn't help but laugh at Sammy. I got Sammy and Jay out there in the world working on becoming a little more oozy. Doing a little dance. He can't. That's the dance you do. That's, I'm in his head doing the dance. Yeah, right? Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, 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 there it is. How do you, how do you not love Jimmy? Paul Heyman's run as the wise man of the bloodline had its funny moments too, such as the time Paul caused Reigns to break out laughing during a 10 bell salute to eulogize Daniel Bryan's oh, WWE career that Roman yeah. ended. Ding. Heyman was on the receiving end of this next joke, courtesy of John Cena, in a moment that once again saw Roman Reigns break character. Hype man slimy in the corner holding up the championship. Lord. You're gonna <laughs> kick my ass at SummerSlam! <laughs> Cena also made Reigns break years earlier, oh, yeah. calling out his poor promo skills. It's called a promo Ooh, shut your mouth, if you want to be the big dog, you're gonna have to learn how to do it, so go ahead. He's trying to laugh, yo. Know? During Triple H's feud with Mick Foley in the year 2000, the game made fun of Foley in numerous oh God, Have a Bad Day skits, one of which included Triple H cosplaying as a Chinese man working at a children's hospital. Helmsy called himself Dr. Hung Lo. I had Dr. Hung Lo. Did you say Dr. Hung Lo? Me, Hung Lo. And hardly Dickhead. kept a straight face throughout the whole segment. Pro Now you get the fat ass out of here. Jesus. In the lead up to his match with Stone Cold at Over the Edge 1998, Vince McMahon introduced the new Dude Love, who had undergone a corporate makeover. The dude cut a promo putting himself over, amusing Vince in the process. I am a lover of women. I am a leader of men. <laughs> a week prior to Dude Love breaking Vince, it was McMahon that caused someone to break character. The chairman's hilarious dancing caused the usual poker face Stone Cold Steve Austin to laugh on camera. <laughs> <laughs> the Texas rattlesnake was as straight faced as a cold, carrying a chip That's on his shoulder everywhere he went. <laughs> this made it even funnier when Stone Cold broke character. Mm -hmm. It's all Stone Cold's no. fault. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. <laughs> I gotta start that. What do you do for a living, Stacy? I work for a Christian publishing company. If there's one thing I can do. Yeah. <laughs> Lord. Better take heed. Finally, up. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a shitty ass. That was a oh, oh, stutter. Dad's laughing after uh, Vince <laughs> I don't blame Mick. I don't blame Mick. That was some shitty selling. <laughs> he is dying. Despite his foul mouthed, roughneck persona, Austin displayed his comedic talents yep. time and time again. I want to tell you. What? I want to just say, oh, what? You got a microphone in your hand, use it. <laughs> I bought one of your t shirts. A big fan of Chris Jericho, are you? No, I'm not a big fan. They ran out of toilet paper. Yeah. Oh my God. That's Daddy. Yeah. 
<laughs> Some people claim mm -hmm. that they're of course. The Rocky Nip two is like this, man. Him and Rocky is like this. Lord. Right here in the Silver Dome. Silver Good Dome. to be back here at the Silver Dome. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just put you over my knee, pull your little dress up? Uh-oh. I gotta yep. be careful. I don't want your balls to fall out. Yeah. <laughs> now we'll look at Austin making Vince laugh. Oh, it occurred Lord. on the fall of 1997 when McMahon was still Raw's announcer, back when his chairman status was typically only mentioned in passing. So yep. when Stone Cold made reference when to him during his undercover balls days, to it during an in-ring interview, he drew a smile from the boss. You want to jump on the Stone Cold bandwagon? more than anybody in the world. Mm -hmm. McMahon's laugh is so genuine that it's hard not to laugh with him. How does Upper Mongolia differ from Pretty Lower classy. Mongolia? Well, one is a little higher than the other one. You know, being a world traveler, I know all the answers. <laughs> My husband has a six inch Lord. scar on his face. <laughs> that really turns me off. <laughs> he does, he does, he does only something else. Lore. <laughs> oh, I wish you could give me some advice so that I could overcome my turn off. <laughs> Lore. Hello, everyone, and oh, Jesus. Keep it rolling. I forgot my no name. <laughs> Yo, his grandson, if you see his grandson who play football, look just like him, man. Shane's son that plays football, I forgot his name is. He looks, man, he just, uh, they just show, he's uh, made a picture of him holding, um, the uh the championship made both stay yeah, for his team his, his football team's playing for a college football team. Um Shane's son. Let me see what his son name again. Yeah, it's a interesting name. Um De Declan, y'all. He looks just like Vince Show, if you see him, man. In 2001, Stone Cold oh, yeah. feuded with Booker T. Austin that was a... Booker in different places each week. On one occasion, Book tried to evade Stone Cold in a unique location. Oh! Is this the first one? This one. Whereabouts was pure gold. Yo! Yo, that whole... Everybody talks about that supermarket uh, beatdown. It's always fun. It is iconic, though, but underrated is the one when they went through the, the church ones that was very underrated as well, too, though. But, yeah. Like I said, Book, if you saw it, easier to see Booker T's on a uh, buyer for A&W, man. A&W. A&E, -A -A -E, man. He talks about how him and W.E. was like he had the biggest fun when he joined W.E., man. You know, because during the time of WCW, as a hobby, he had to keep a serious face most of, his cat, most of the time, but he had the best... Uh, uh, he had it before. He had his fun in WWE in, in, in ever though. No matter his role, Booker T course, always provides us with some side-spitting funny moments. Booker, you of wish course. You had legs like that. Sometimes I do. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You know the big is the announcement. Oh my God! You already know. I'm just a Booker T. Yo. Booker T. I'm Like him getting signed to WWE, he. It was like he was he broke out of his shell right there. He was he got to do everything he always wanted to do. Had the funny act. He like I said, Dusty Day. He had to keep it serious, serious persona most of the time though. And you know he got a broke care when he uh said the you know Hulk Hogan we go for you you know. <laughs> but still, King Booker, Lord, <laughs> that damn persona. A parade, Lord, of honeys. In front of oh, yeah. legs are feeling right now, but I yeah, know he's happy. Booker, you're taking us off track. <laughs> Brock Lesnar didn't get the, the beast. Brock mm -hmm. Lesnar. Yo. Uh, Yo. The Brock defends against Braun mm -hmm. Strowman. Braun Strowman. Booker and his spinner Rooney oh, routine course. gave countless wrestlers the opportunity to loosen up and show a different mm -hmm. side to their character. Yo. Oh, my God. What the hell? What in the world? <laughs> oh, my God. That was just, that was just horrible. See a punk, Lord. Why is this man? Never mind. Why is this man not we got a big show, Lord. Oh. Okay, this is not bad. This is crazy, Daniel Bryan. Or oh, let me see if you got one. That one. Hey, you like it? <laughs> wow. Yeah, of course, Rock. You know Rock won't get it. You know Rock won't get it, though. And Kane's pretty good. No lie, Kane's was pretty good. It's hard not to laugh whenever our truth. Of course, our truth. We used to be cool, man. What's. Yusta is a rooster from Brewster. You don't know nothing about cool. Oh. Even as a hell, he makes you break. Of course. He's ready to lose the match. Five. We got 
to do some things. Yup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, <boys. laughs> Yo, Dan's bread, yo. That was a good. I ain't gonna lie. They had the best run with the whole mismatch challenge thing. They was like the best part of that mismatch challenge they had going on. They was a good pair of uh, Carm- Carmella uh, and uh, R2. They was a good pairing, though, for me. I say that for sure, man. They was a great pairing for sure. Especially with the dance break thing. I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fried fish they had was pretty good. I mean, if I may ask. You probably didn't put no tartar sauce on He even broke Shayna. <laughs> I got acrophobia, y'all. <laughs> Not one spider on this ladder. <laughs> I told you. It's a wrap I, I want to be just like my childhood hero, John, John Cena. Cena. Yeah. Of course. Oh, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> No. Truth even made Brock Lesnar break during a segment on Raw before the 2020. Oh, he took out. Yeah, he took out. Like, Stand back, guys. He brought you. Royal Rumble, where Truth was supposed to declare his entry uh-huh. in the Rumble match oh, yeah. to take on Lesnar, but it didn't quite go to plan for Truth. You will go flying over that top rope, Paul Heyman. <laughs> Paul Heyman? I'm not in the Royal Rumble. That's what's up. Or Truth yeah. had trouble with another match concept oh, this time yeah. in 2015, as Truth mistakenly believed he was in the Money in the Bank <laughs> match. That was in a moment so that had multiple wrestlers <laughs> chuckling. What the truth is gonna do in Money in the Bank? You're not even in the match. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna know mean? Kane, my bad. Santino. <laughs> I don't know what was funnier. Truth or... Can't say you're not even in the match. That's what that was, that's what I listened to. It probably broke them. It was out of them too, right? <laughs> Morella was one of the of few people to rival. Shout out to this man killing it on Impact Wrestling right now as a WWE authority. Yeah, he's killing it on Impact Wrestling right now. When it came to making wrestlers break character, mm-hmm, of course. Yeah. Oh, oh, he calls him Impact what? now. How even came to that? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I low key love the little parody of him and um Tamina though. I mean, because at times she was like this hard, the crack on uh, crack uh person, you know, that was like no smile as the lady uh member of, of what the Uso was and everything. And then she got this little thing with with uh Satina was pretty awesome. Plus half time she's barefoot while she was doing it. So, but yeah. To William Regal, oh. his knee to my head should have been illegal. You got sir. <laughs> Santino was at his funniest when badly pronouncing wrestlers' names. Yo. Fandingo. <laughs> Fandingo. Fandingo. Oh my god. Like he did. Crazy. He's on the. Oh my god. Yeah, he's on there too. Fandango uh, or Dirty Dango. He's in Impact as well too. Too. They uh, had a little. Oh yeah. They had a little interaction as the. He shot to be the deputy of the deputy authority, but it turned out to be a hill or anything. I got a feeling he's gonna mess around and get this ti- get the title off. Um, I t- I tell you, man. Yeah, it. it uh, lo- love the subject though. Um, you know he's as the uh, call you shot or anything right now. And Bruce has and Moose has the briefcase. I feel like yeah, Moose gonna try to get get in the title, but then he, he's going to call shot and get the win and somehow as well too, or try it, and then gonna be it might in the way make Moose the baby face. I'm I, it'd be crazy that if I'm right about this, but anyway, let's get it. Because what else Moose got to do as a heel anymore, man? During a backstage segment with John Cena in 2008. Mm-hmm. You have a big mouth, John Cena. Yep, John Cena. <laughs> I would like more for Christmas than a chance to shut it. Earlier in the same year, yep. Santino butchered Batista's name during a promo where he made fun of the animal. <laughs> Look at me, huh? I'm yeah. a Baptista. I'm a Baptista. <laughs> I'm a Baptista. Like I'm eight years old. Lord. Let's see how many brain cells the animal Baptista has. Baptista. <laughs> <laughs> Santino really was on fire in 2008, mm-hmm. including the time he brilliantly questioned why Rey Mysterio chooses to wear a mask. Any man who hides behind a mask is either incredibly ugly or is the Batman. <laughs> Santino's funny way of insulting yep. his opponents was showcased once again. I wonder if they're going to reunite since they both were in Impact. Though. I thought when I heard that he came to Impact, he was on with him, but he's on Dirty Dangle's side, so yeah. Gain in a tea party skit with Sheamus on Raw in 2010. You were excluded from a I didn't hear that moment together. Kids because you're a ginger. <laughs> Even Vince McMahon couldn't help but smile when talking to Santino as seen in a backstage skit on Raw in 2009. 
Shout out to his shout out to his door Kai keeping the storyline going, keeping the the kayfabe alive and storyline going. Um, Ivan and his her her aunt Santina <laughs> Morella as well too. <laughs> it can be called John Cena is no stranger oh, to having some fun. And one of, of his funniest course. moments saw him laughing hysterically due to the crowd not letting Vicky Guerrero speak, which even Vicky <laughs> saw the funny side of. You are not the only one. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's getting she she before her nephew her nephew uh dirty dumb dumb Mysterio get boo left and right. She 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 got it worse. She just just got just as bad, yo. That's a <laughs> Cena's quick wit and charm has also led to numerous others breaking character. You and Sable fighting? Yup. That's good for my health. Something about you makes me keep in touch with myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was probably uh, I, I played that. I low key I feel, now I feel like that promo was like more of a thank you to stuff. You know, that stuff has helped kind of save his career by telling her to go for that character with the uh, thug to not character. Just another case of big things. Yup. With small packages. Yeah. <laughs> Hey yo! But it was easy for other wrestlers and fans to make John laugh as well. You talk about all those people like they are so much better than me. They are. <laughs> when you first got here, everybody was excited, including me. Look at you. I'm a god. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember that, yo. I cannot put off my surgery any longer. Tonight I leave the WWE. Mm. Okay. Thank you, man. Yo. Yep. In the midst of a feud with William Regal's Blackpool mm. Combat Club in 2022, Chris Jericho, flanked by his Jericho Appreciation mm. Society, cut a scathing promo on their rivals. I thought you'd be dead by now. Oh. Lord. Regal responded with humor, forcing Chris to crack a smile in response. With that whining, vile, pathetic, trash slapping voice of yours. Mm. Chris Jericho has always been one of wrestling's of funniest course. performers. Chris Yo. was especially funny in 2016. The when list. Many people on the list of Jericho. Oh, man. The list. I, I hit me by the list. Oh, man. That was gold. I, like, this is where the real time, like, even if he was a hell that you get, you had to let that shit slide. Between that and Booker, and King Booker is like one of the few uh, ones I let slide, even though their character was a hell that it was too funny as well, too. And Booker in TNA, you know, with the, what well, has black black snow, but yeah, this is definitely always classic right here. Happen? You know what happened? You know what's happening right now? You know this is that's the funniest one. I don't care. Out of all the uh the, the, the list one, the one in New Day with when Zay was like, no, 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 put me the list. That had to be one of the funniest ones, yo. You know what happens because you put Kevin Owens in this mm -hmm. match? You know what's gonna happen? You know what happens? Yep. Chance McMahon. Chance McMahon. You know what happens <laughs> when you touch my personal property, don't you? Yep. You know what happens when you don't impress Kevin Owens at the Festival of Friendship, huh? You know what happens when you betray Chris Jericho? Mm -hmm. You just made the, the list. list. You just made the list. Yep. You just made the list. Yep. You know what? You just made the list. Mm -hmm. Brace face in row 12 is now on the list. You just made the list. Mm -hmm. No. You I'm just really made the list. list. Yep. Oh, no. You just made the list. Yep. You just made the list. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Roman Reigns in particular The funniest one That and the other one When he did Elias I Enjoyed the time Jericho put AJ Styles On the list mm -hmm. So stupid soccer mom's hair Yup <laughs> Yup yeah. You just made the list yeah. This also made people laugh With his gift of Jericho Catchphrase mm -hmm. Drink it in man. Bring it in man yep. Including Raw GM at the time Mick Foley Lock it in man yeah. He had to cover his head my own. Jericho yeah. had numerous Here other moments we would make wrestlers break. Hey, look at Barrett. We are. <laughs> Nonetheless, she reminds me of Baby from House of a Thousand mm -hmm. Corpses. Something weird. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. She is. If you want to see Chris Jericho drink a beer with Steve Austin, say do what diddy diddy dum diddy do. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Never in a million years would have believed that would have happened, but it just did, so give me some beer. The only yep. perros I see are the perro idiots. Oh. 
standing right yeah, he's, here. He's, he's really Some of wrestling's funniest. Oh guys yeah, are I was wanted. I was hoping they gonna put this, put the Mean Gene Orkley ones in the backstage uh, breaking. Yes, <laughs> came courtesy of Mean Gene yep. Orkley. <laughs> like a red setter, redheaded stepson. I'm sick and tired of that. He was corpsing so, <laughs> so many times. You guys want to do? He was corpsing so many times his backstage the interviews. National anthem. And they're going to be standing loud, and they're going to be standing proud and tall, and they're going to hear that little tin cup jingling it around with change in it. Because when you step in the ring with the Hercules and the King. You use a ball to play cricket, is that correct? <laughs> that is correct, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ride yep, of hard. Woo, and of put them up with. <laughs> Aretha Franklin, I thank you. They know who's the auto chic. They have the, the from John F. Kennedy Airport to the yeah. Los Angeles, California. Yeah. Who could forget the famous clip yeah. of Gene trying but failing to hold back the last during an yeah. interview with Wendy Richter? <laughs> I'm about to lay down on my back and let someone cover me. I thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't blame Gene for laughing during this next interview. Yep. As Oakland reacted to a crazy promo from Dr. D. David Schultz. I couldn't find a woman. I found a lot of men that look like women. Now you, Hulk Hogan, oh, what's wrong with you? Then there was the <laughs> insane interview featuring Gene, the Iron Sheik, and a Thanksgiving turkey. He reminds me look like Hulk Hogan. Look at his son. Oh, look at Lord. him. Now that red leg stays down. Ha! Oh, I'm not interested that any Oh so, man, you know we to, I say that because you know everybody be quote you always he always says some shit about uh about Hogan till his death till his death, man, on Twitter, y'all for real, man. He did not like Hogan for real, man. And of course, you know folks that don't like Hogan have because you know have because of my people as well too because of well because of you know what happens as well too. Always always of course Iron Sheik as well too as well. And you know it was probably if he was live, he was probably the best sweet the, if he heard what happened in AEW's past week when Sting mission Hogan. Yeah, Hogan got straight booed. It was crazy. It was entertaining to see Randy Orton react to a mm, promo. Of You're going to be lying flat on your back, much yep. like your ex girlfriend. Ooh. Later on tonight, you want to get together? Here we go. Said that in the set, like in the ring, man. Damn, Damn. yup. <laughs> yeah. Do me a favor. Why don't you act like this is an AA meeting and you shut your mouth while I'm sharing with you? Yup. Yup. <laughs> Even if I did, you'd probably choke in it anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's nothing that this man hasn't done in this business except this, uh, beat me. me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys. No! Oh, God. Bobby Lashley is kissing. That damn, that damn cuck damn storyline was ridiculous and he almost darn near one, another one right now AEW. Uh, what the fuck Rusev's wife. just look at orton's reaction to stephanie mcmahon slapping the head off batista yup i just have yup <laughs> orton would also have some hilarious mm -hmm. reactions mid-match yup oh yeah Oh, it's a classic. Yup. 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 Oh, yeah. He, he could have, he could have helped. He could have hurt. Yeah, he hurt. That shit was hurting him. He was trying to play that off. Nah, that shit hurt. I know that shit hurt. Oh, Orton yeah. provides some brilliant reactions, mm -hmm. even if he's the one on the end of the mm -hmm. abuse. Like when Edge insulted the Viper in 2013. It's yep. a shame that you're supposed to be the face of the WWE, but you act like an entirely different body part. Yup. Orton probably wasn't expecting his former Evolution stablemate mm -hmm. Triple H's epic response to Randy's insult. Retrieve your balls from Stephanie's purse. They're just so big, and it's it's such a burden. <laughs> yep. How about the time in 2015 when the New Day poked fun at the amount of factions Orton had been in throughout his time in WWE? Mm -hmm. Dang, Randy! How many groups have you been in? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. The New Day are renowned for getting of talent course. to break of from their course, usual characters yeah. in order to dance. Of course. Yeah. 
Yup. Big D. Big D. Yo, even bra, man. Where he been? I know he's been with injury. You must have seen a couple of them. Including some names you wouldn't expect to see get down the way they did. <laughs> oh man. Oh, we still hit him with the front of me. <laughs> damn it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Spin around to a damn stunner. Whoop. <laughs> he stole that shit too. always ensues when the new day are around. So if they're not making wrestlers dance, they're probably making them laugh. They yep. don't know about Weenie Do when your gut hangs out more than your Weenie Do. Yep. Wow. Whoa. Tag mm. team. Yeah. <laughs> Rock was trying so hard. Rock was trying so hard. He did it for the people, <laughs> but he did it for the paycheck. Few people have ever made The Undertaker break character. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. Because we're going into oh, invasion. Yeah. Invasion. I think it's time Yo. for the Undertaker. <laughs> Rudy. Of course you didn't take Booker T to do it. Lord. Go somewhere for a little vacation. That right there will make you quit being so upset. I see him start to grin. Almost got you, the damn sure got me. Look at this. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Goldus is one of the select few of to hold this distinction. Oh my Gold god, who remember when Thea was on WE for a while playing Shelter Bitch's mom, man? Who remember that run? Well, funny I see I see this now because I saw the uh the podcast interview with uh Bianca Belair with on uh Kiki's Palmer podcast and she talked about he saw she talked about uh Goldust, but yes. Goldie's rendition of the spinner Rooney brought out a rare laugh from the dead man. Mm -hmm. Of course. Oh, Lord. yeah, not bad, but yeah. <laughs> but The Undertaker wasn't the only wrestler who oh, Goldust got yes. to break character. The first one to wet. welcome the what? you to the WWE. Oh, my God. That little mini run he had, he got electrocuted because uh, uh, I think uh, I think Evolution beat it, beat, it, beat him down to, and he got electrocuted. Though after, I think after um, him and um, Booker T had to break up because cause of a, a loser match, match, something like that. His little reaction, his like his uh side effects when he electrocuted, that little run was hilarious. No lie, he made that shit work. <laughs> Dustin made that shit work. Howdy there, NWO. Oh, then the whole little, <laughs> the <coach. laughs> little thing. Yeah. And we yeah. got sausage and midgets all mm, waiting in the car door. just for you. Let's yeah, go. he was trying to help uh, Lance Storm become less boring. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Their tag team was pretty lovely. Not the perfect family. Of course. <laughs> RP Dustin, you made a little day laugh. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our similar video where we look back at 30 minutes. I might have to check that out. I might check that payback video out one time, one time though. But other than that, this was a cool video. Shout out to Beat Man for, for um, recommending this video for me. But other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T-Bird signing off. One love.